welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video and in today's video i'm going to talk about some of your questions and along with that i will be talking about the um ios 26.0.1 and because that is going to be the next important update so in this video let's talk about these few things so why ios 26.0.1 is important for everyone and the main reason behind that is definitely battery draining and as many people are facing battery rating and not enjoying the overall performance of the iOS 26. So everyone wants to see 26.0.1. Now, many people are claiming that 26.0.1 will out um, this week. But, you know, I said that, uh, you know, before in my couple of videos previously that we can't expect um, the, the update right in this week because we just saw the launch of iOS 26. And in the same week, 26.0.1 coming out was like not much likely. So the expected release for me is again the next week that is starting from 22nd September. I do believe from 22nd September to 25th September, there are four different days. And I think we have a um, chance of the iOS 26.0.1 in four days, in these four days, because we are also expecting the next big update that is going to be iOS 26. Point one beta one and about that i will be you know bring another video very very soon but yeah this is what we are expecting these four days are where we can expect ios 26.0.1 and that is definitely not gonna be um you know update regarding big features or anything like that that is purely gonna bring enhancement all those stuff that people are facing in the official update so that will be a bug fix update well that's all from this section now let's move to the next se next section and that is definitely about your question. So just let me unlock my device over here. Let me set up my device over here. And now let's begin answering your question. Now first comment is when will iPhone 11 um, iOS 16.0.1 will release. I just talked about that. So yeah. Did you check which applications are enabled for background app refresh? Also what is your setting for background app refresh? Is it on Wi-Fi data? both or turn off it is on wi-fi and data let me show you so we'll get into the settings and we'll go over here into the background app refresh and it is on wi-fi and cellular data as you can see so it is on uh, both of things this is how i like to use you know my device okay let me set up this again perfectly uh, moving to the next one okay so there was another like which applications are enabled uh, most of the applications are enabled for me like i don't m start off much so most of them are enabled when will iphone 11 okay this is the same comment same answer they would have to check the battery because it is normal in, it is not normal in my ios 18 with the 16 pro it lasted longer i hope the latest update focuses on the first before the bugs okay so we everyone has problem with the battery life and apple actually talk about that that there is actually a problem with the battery life and in the press release they talk about that that the battery life will get will take a couple of days and it will get better and i did a five day battery life review of ios 26 if you haven't checked out if you haven't watched that video go and watch that video i did that video yesterday i guess and you will get the idea about the how the battery started to get better so that video is important go and watch that video okay so over here let's the chip would let me use mobile network okay i reset it on another iphone and if the chip works let's update the date uh, error i tried erasing phone and restarting in a near format but the same thing didn't happen okay honestly i didn't get what you are trying to say so you know just comment again and try to you know be more specific about I'm so first to be comment. Okay, thank you so much. I have 26 um, 48 megapixels Sony or uh, iPhone 6 15 plus. Okay, so maybe you need to turn on by going into settings and going into the um, like going into settings, going into camera. Then after you are in your camera, I think you need to go to maybe over here. I'm not sure. No, not over here. Uh, maybe go over, I don't know, format. And from here, photo mode. And there is like, okay. So what you need to do is you need to turn on the resolution control. Now when the resolution control is turned on, it will give the option of 40 megapixel over here as you can see. So maybe that is something you are facing. You need to do that. 
unknown color screen features not show and give new app not open ios 26 iphone 16 it is there for me it is working perfectly fine maybe you deleted the app you know unintentionally and go and check out on the app store but it is working for me perfectly fine iphone 17 was launched yesterday i know that and um, i didn't make a video about that because i was very busy with the iOS 26 stuff, you know, testing or the battery life and all that. Uh, message app seems to slow to populate. Definitely a lag. Lock screen keeps losing. So this is all about lags. Yes, there are lags. There are a few things that people are facing. There are bugs. And this is why we want iOS 26.0.1. And everyone is waiting for the 26.0.1. Still have bugs on my XR with the iPhone 8, iOS 18.7 RC. If you are still using RC update to 18.7, maybe RC actually becomes the uh, official update. So that is also a thing. But um, I haven't faced any sort of bug. Maybe um, give it a couple of days and it will get better. But what's the update right now? Let me know in the comment. Um, when I was already six more coming, I just talk about that. Okay, brother, after updating my 15 Pro Max, the action button is not showing the option of silent button. Okay. Hey, why is that? I uh, let me check. I actually didn't check. Let me go over here into the action button, and I use shortcut. There is a silent button. I don't know what is what's up with the iPhone 15 Pro. I will check um for that and let you know because I do have my I I there is my friend who do have iPhone 15 Pro. So I will check and let you know. Phone battery drain. I know Apple will hopefully fix it. And I also did a video about the battery life. How it is getting better. And how you can do make it better. Go and watch that on my channel. My network gone after. Wh why network is gone? Like this is a weird thing. Um, go f may maybe there's some problem. Hardware problem maybe. That is not because of iOS 26. Next week on Monday, yeah, hopefully. Why is it not working after I update to iPhone 14? Anyone facing this issue? If anyone is facing this issue, let us know. Although I don't use Ysmail feature, it is not available for me in my country. So I cannot, you know, help you out. But maybe there is a bug when I'm hoping that it will get fixed in the 26.0.1. My battery is way better in iOS 26, which is a nice thing for some people. It is really good. That is also a good thing. Mostly artists use up the battery. Okay. I don't think so. Okay, so over hidden features. He's talking about the hidden features. Okay. This video is about the features that are like new features that most people don't know. If you want to try out them, you can. But if you don't want to try out them, it's your personal choice. Should I upgrade to iOS 26? I am in iOS 80 by 7 country. Yeah, sure. Let's go, man. Let's go. Go and update on 16th Pro. Go and update. Data issue and call issue, maybe it will get fixed in 26.0.1. Give charge three times a day. Whoa, wow, you are charging a lot of your device. Um, it depends what you are using. Let me know that for what you are using. Free fire lag. Don't play free fire, guys. Come on. Not receive iPhone 15. What? Maybe he's saying 26.0.1 is not there for iPhone 15. Well, it is not out yet. It will out in hopefully starting the week. I have 15 Pro with the iOS 18.2 recommend. Oh, that is a big question. From 18.2 to 18.7. Well, I'm confused, honestly. I don't know, should you do that or not? Maybe you see a better battery life. Maybe you see don't. I don't know. If you want to try out, you can. But you will not able to go back. That's the important thing. But I think um, if you're using 15 Pro, I think you should go on iOS 26, honestly. Or maybe wait for the 26.0.1. Well, that's all from this video. These were all of your comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. And hope to get you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.